why Igbos are ahead of other tribes in Nigeria, says Obasanjo. Former president of Nigeria, Chief Olusegun Obasanjo, has revealed reasons why Igbos are ahead of other tribes in Nigeria. It will be a task impossible to actualize for the Igbos to follow the Yoruba's ideology. The Igbos are more Republican by nature, which is why it is very difficult for you to tame such a tribe. From the extensive research I did on the three major tribes, I found out that the Igbos are the most westernized, most enterprising, most astute, most dynamic, most intelligent, smart, and the most technically gifted tribe found among the black race. The Hausa, Fulani, and the Yoruba have limitations, but an Igbo man doesn't see any limitations. An average Igbo man is highly competitive, unlike the Yoruba and the Hausa Fulani. Why the Yoruba and the Hausa Fulani had kingdoms which enabled the British to infiltrate their territories easily. The Igbos on the other land, on the other hand, had what could be called chiefdoms, autonomous communities. These structures made it very difficult to tame the Igbos. It took the British just nine months to tame the north and south west, but almost thirty years to be able to tame the Igbos. The British had to send a team of anthropologists to the south to the understand to understudy the Igbo because they the British acknowledged that they added up against a black race which such depth and intelligence coupled with the got to confront the whites and learn from them so so fast. Why a Tinumbu can have unrestricted influence over the Yoruba tribe, something you can only find mostly among blacks and some poor nations on earth today. An Igbo man can never be tamed by the ideology of one man unchecked, no matter how highly placed he or she is. That's why the Igbos are very, uh, very successful, no matter where they find themselves. They don't believe in putting limitations on their path. You can only find such similarities among the Europeans, the Americans, and developed Asian Tiger nations. A Hausa Fulani man sees Kano as his world, a Yoruba man sees Lagos as his world, an Igbo man sees the world as his village. Wow, this is really deep coming from me, Obasanjo. And you know, trust me, a lot of people have been reacting to all of this. Some people are of the opinion that Obasanjo is right, some people are of the opinion that what is this man saying? Someone says, I agree with you on this. During the time election was approaching, I looked around me and I saw many chanting next level. And I was confused of whatever I was the only, whether I was the only right thinking Yoruba man left. How can someone perform woefully in his first tenure and you are still willing to hand over the next four years of your system to control due to some senseless sentiments? They will still come around here and raise abusive comments, comments but... Though I am a Yoruba person, but I agree with Obasanjo that our people are not making informed decisions and just doing follow-follow, and this is adversely affecting our tribe and the nation generally. Another one says, I'm not an Igbo man. No matter what people say about Obasanjo, he will, say, he will always tell the truth. The Igbo man I know is an embodiment, embodiment of hard, hard work, always thinking out of the box, independent-minded, technically oriented, having a zeal to succeed no matter the odds and always reject slavery from the so-called wealthy in their midst. If the Yorubas and the Awusa can reason like the average Igbo man by rejecting unnecessary singing of praises of one man, Nigeria will be the better for us. A wealthy person in Igbo land who wants to show that is better than his fellow will be disgraced, abandoned and rejected. Ask the former governor of Imo State, Okorocha, he will tell you, was up if Okorocha were to be Hausa or Yoruba, he would have still be relevant despite all his misdemeanor. The Igbo society watch nonsense and rejects why the Hausa and the Yoruba watch supports and eulogizes the individual. A good example are Ganduje and Tinumbu. That is someone's opinion. Truth is very hard to conceive unless the spirit of God. Dwell in you. I am a full blooded Yoruba boy, but to say the fact, Igbo people are very talented in all ramifications. I, I surrender. Apostle must hear this. 
A house full any man sees Kano as his word, a Yoruba man sees Lagos as his word, but an Igbo man sees the word more as his village. This is the best possible quotes of this century by the great OBJ. Book writers take notes. OBJ is the best, fearless and frank speaking philosopher and the greatest researcher of our generation among the black race. He speaks with a high definitive precision when it comes to matters arising in every sphere of life of black race and more especially in Africa and Nigeria. The great Obasanjo has just said the truth. Period. Haters can go to hell. You can't tame the Igbos, he said. This is very interesting. God bless Baba. There is no doubt about OBJ characterization of the Igbo ethnic group. Honestly, how I wish Nigeria were a confedera confederation autonomous province to release and actualize comparative and competitive advantages for integrated development. The northwest, the northeast, the north central, the southwest, the southeast, the middle, be middle west, and the south south Niger Delta would all shine with within their cultural ethos as confederate provinces. It would drown the deep seated destruct and unnecessary conflict nigeria will be an amazing nation baba is just reminding his kinsmen that what an igbo man saw 52 years ago is what their eyes are just opening to now his greatest fear with what with that of his colleagues is as is to hand over the name baton to an igbo man and see nigeria divide but the truth of the matter is that nigeria has been divided since 52 years ago destiny can only be delayed but can never be denied it is well igbo stand a better chance to reposition the country to its full feet but why i love them you cannot but them with money you cannot buy them with money why they don't care how influential you are. Every one of them believe he can stand on his own. They are not like other tribes who take nonsense out of fear or respect. Before other tribes said that Igbos don't go to school, believe it or not, virtually every Igbo sons and daughters scattered across the world, schooling, doing their best in all ramifications. Igbos are well determined people, and anything they keen interest to achieve, they do it. To surpass every other people who are there they marry other tribe and live happily go to Igbo villages they love strangers their diversity made them to be best people to make friends make friends with it's true they have their own flaws just like other tribes to be good and bad is an individual thing it is it has nothing to do with tribe Igbos are open to help if you are closer to them. They are not respecter of any man if you did not impact in any of any one life. The problem of Nigerians is that most of other tribes' parents' guide, uh, guidance always tell their children about negative things about Igbos. My dear, with your age, it's high time you make a certain finding and different tribes of this nation. Since this hatred has installed all over you, about a person or tribe it will be very hard for you to grow because the channel may have a link to you you hate igbos are the most resourceful people on earth any country you didn't find igbo man run away from that country because it's not conducive for human being they are the tribe that find comfort in discomfort love them embrace learn from them igbo kwenu kwenu Oh, the last one. Oh, my goodness. OBJ is saying nothing but the truth. He's a great man. No doubt. By nature, no doubt about it. And when say no, there is no no. When say yes, force can change. They are more Democrats than any tribe in Africa. They believe what they stand for, not what they stand to, to for them. Time for Igbo Yoruba unity is now good point very correct how i wish people will understand us an igbo man has no limitations obj is at it again always frank without fear or favor however this truth he has said so brantantly is directly related to the underdeveloped status of this country and the african continent the former president refused to mention not because he is not aware of the fact that but because maybe he needed more research to prove it 
That is why the Buaris sees Igbos as enemies because they refuse to be bought by cheap slots. So guys, you know, we can go on and on and on and on and on. It's really a good thing. So when you have a people like this around you and you have other tribes, you know, doing wonderful things in their own in their own way. Because just like we said, there's nobody that is perfect. Even in the, all the places we even, you know, on the side of the Igbos, they have their own flaws. But most, what is important is that, you know, when your good is, you know, at waste, you know, your flaws, you know, it's really a good thing. But when, yeah, when it is the other way around, that is where it is not good. So it's a good thing, you know, that a lot of people are talking about uh, the Igbos. And when you have people like this around, you know, it's something that everybody needs to come together, you know, and work towards. Uh, the betterment of the countries in as much we are together but the issue is that you know some people are just bent that this country will not move forward and that's why they are just trying to create enmity among the tribes so guys that's just my opinion concerning all that has been said and what obasanjo has said and from his findings i would like you guys to have your take and put your comments down in the comment section thank you very much for always listening bye